What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Man, I gotta get into this thing and just, just do a quick video, man. This video, I'm about to go in and violate the hell out of Shampoo, Sexy Lex, and that bitch oh. ass nigga Lansky. First of all, I will get up. I swear, to, I ain't Nipsey Hustle, nigga. I'll get up. Whoa, whoa. Yo, I'm not too yeah, hot. Your past don't sound valid. Your past don't sound valid, my nigga. Yeah. I be around blood niggas. I'm a crack. Oh, <laughs> Shut up, nigga. Shut up. I don't no even, and I don't like, yeah. I, hope, I hope people don't fucking attack me for this and berate me, but I didn't even really know him as like a rapper. I knew him as dating someone like that actor. And I also knew it. First and foremost, I want to apologize on behalf of Shampoo, me being the leader for his comments. Like, even uh, though we don't, the Shampoo was saying some things and pertaining to the Nipsey Hussle situation that offended a lot of people. I got over 17 DMs. Shampoo's punishment would be, act Shampoo would be, Shampoo would be suspended for 30 days. Just till things cool down. I'm gonna tell you, God is black. God is black. Everybody knows God is white. Everything the white man taught you, you accepted. He taught you you were a black heathen and you believed him. He taught you to worship a blonde, blue-eyed Jesus with white skin and you believed him. He taught you that black was a curse and you believed that. Did you ever look up the word black in... It always end up right back here. MC Hustle, check me out. You in trouble, check me out. Pay us now, check me out. Pay me double, check me out. New Nipsey Hussle, right. check me out. Above the law, check me out. I sag my pants, check me out. To show my draw. Have a blessed day. So don't forget to go subscribe to Flip the Script. That's Queen's Flip. He has his own YouTube channel. He has a great content going on right now with IG callers. It has consistent, consistent hits. It's an amazing show. I mean, I have a great description box. You can catch that. He has two YouTube channels. One is Queen's Flip and one is Quiet Room. Please go support Queen's Flip. Flip the script and IG callers live and just donate to his um, channel. Also, I'll leave the links in the description box where you can donate to him. Go support Flip the Script. I'm your guy, Bless One. Over and out. What's good, YouTube family? This your God bless one. Thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop. Man, I gotta get into this thing and, and just, just do a quick video, man. This video, I'm about to go in and violate the hell out of Shampoo, Sexy Lex, and that bitch ass nigga Lansky. First of all, I will get up. I swear, to, I ain't Nipsey Hustle, nigga. I'll get up. Whoa, whoa. Yo, shit. I'm not oh, Tupac. Yo, yo. I'm not Biggie. Let no, me. I, 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 uh, what's his name? Presence. I'm around real niggas right now. Presence. I'm sorry, man. I didn't even, and I don't like. Yeah. I, hope, I hope people don't fucking attack me for this and berate me, but I didn't even really know him as like a rapper. I knew him as dating someone like that. Yeah. Bitch ass nigga Lansky. And I also First of all, rest in peace to the king, Nipsey Hustle. Rest in peace, him for real, for real. If y'all don't know why I'm doing this video, um. As you seen the the latest episode of Act Shampoo, Shampoo Lansky and Lex is violating Nipsey Hussle as if that man didn't mean nothing to the community, as if that man didn't do more for black people than these clowns ever have done for black people, as if Nipsey Hussle ain't ain't some type of role model in leadership position that Shampoo has never been in, that Lansky won't even be able to sniff, and that Sexy Lex only able to see when she sees black people on TV, because we all know Sexy Lex don't hang around black people, this piece of shit, I'm about to get in. First of all, y'all know I'm a real one for this, because y'all know how real cool Shampoo I am, y'all know I big up Shampoo, I got a dedication for Shampoo, a vi dedication video for Shampoo I did a year ago, but now I gotta go in Shampoo, before I go in, we're gonna going on all three people and I'm about to violate the first number one order is shampoo first shampoo first of all I see what angle we you were trying to take Biggie, and we could ask Malcolm X 
We could ask Nips. No, we can't ask. We can't. But ask we could ask else. all of these people in hindsight. <laughs> you can't ask them no, no more shampoo. They passed. I mean, you could ask them, but then you might not get an answer. Angle you were trying to take. But what I'm saying. And yours is kind of different from Kodak Black. But nevertheless, it's foul as fuck, bro. This nigga body ain't even buried under the ground yet. And you talking about he can't talk, he's dead, and this and that. The piece of shit that you are right now, bro, will I still listen to Shampoo? Yes, I will. I ain't gonna even lie. But right now, he ain't my drift right now. I got, I, in fact, to keep it real, I haven't really been fucking with Shampoo for a minute now since he's been playing Captain Superhero for that bitch ass nigga Lansky. I ain't really been rocking for with Shampoo anymore since he's been playing Big Dad slash Big Brother for Lansky on some sucker shit. Sh shampoo, you a lame ass nigga, my nigga. Your mom is dead, your dad is dead, your brother is dead, your sister is dead. I ain't never seen you come at white supremacy for your family being dead. Let's just be honest. The hereditary genes that your family got that they're just falling victim to all these illness and disease. What about the food and all that they're eating that the FDA approves that your mom and dad ate now they're dead and I ain't violating. Rest in peace to that man's family. I'm just staying. I'm gonna set this shit up right. And we're gonna get back to Nipsey Hussle. Rest in peace. Nowhere. We're gonna get back to Sammy. This is your second chance. Will you open a store there? No. <laughs> nah, let Sammy, me, nah, let me nah. Listen to that man's family. Yo, I'm just stating facts. Your brother and sister died too. With let's just be real, man. The medical conditions that we have and the pre-genetic that um illness that we're disposed to is because of the food and the symptoms that we go through living in America. I haven't yet heard you say anything about this white man, and I'm not trying to tell you go attack white people. I'm showing you the hypocrisy of this nigga that calls himself Shampoo. The reason why I'm, I'm I'm speaking with proper decorum at Shampoo right now. Usually I go in on motherfuckers and shit like that but i'm gonna hit this nigga with angles bro the topic of conversations that you use to dictate towards yet um the likes of nipsey and other dead celebrities it shows you're very bitter through the loss of your family bro listen bro i got a grandma that, that i don't know if she's gonna make it this whole week coming up i got another grandma that just died and countless of family members and friends who passed away i feel you don't know how to handle the loss of your family so you're very bitter about it as well you should because everybody bitter for their families but nobody gets bitter and start attacking other dead people who haven't done anything well, for you i now, haven't seen any hustle a gang member yeah all right did 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 he did he indirectly uh 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 possibly hurt people or kill people in his line when he was a gang member? Yes or no? Potentially. No. Yes, probably, yes. Okay, so we have to think about the people that might have been hurt indirectly and start attacking other they dead people give... who haven't done anything for you. I haven't seen any contribution you have done at, at the likes of Nipsey Hussle has done for the community, bro. You would think a dude like you, you got like your core fans. Let's keep, I don't care if you've been on the Howard Stern show. I'm going to give you news flash, douchebag, in the words of your bitch ass co host, um, partner Lansky. You a bozo, my nigga. I'm going to give you a news flash, bro. Your core following of fans are black motherfuckers. I know you got white people who rocking with you, white people who support you. The niggas who donate you the most is black people. You like to say niggas don't donate to you? That's a fucking lie, my nigga. I donated to you multiple times. Other niggas Listen, donated wait, to wait, you. Wait, so knock wait, that shit let off. Let me tell you something. If Dr. Sebi... <laughs> Listen, Sebi, you know if he had a cure, he'd still be here. Let me take he didn't die of AIDS, y'all. What he die of? Enough, enough of these leaders. <laughs> I love <laughs> Nipsey. What's his name? No, it's Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey you lie, my Hustle, nigga. I, I donated to you multiple times. Other niggas donated to you. So knock that shit off, my nigga. Over the years, even with the likes of you on Howard Stern, Howard kept your fucking old ass because niggas was generated towards his platform, my nigga. You're the buffoon coonery. I, I, I hate to say it, bro. I'll still watch you, but I got to tell you why you funny. You that coon ass nigga that we get to see do jokes and do buffoonery acts and we get to applaud your behavior, my nigga. That's about it. Get out your feelings my nigga you deserve to be violated another I, age ain't got nothing to do with it because at your age my nigga you supposed to be keeping sexy lex in check and bitch ass lansky in check but in, in all i seen was you playing the the role of an adolescent uh, little ass kid a grown now, old stop ringing you see oh the marathon clothing the marathon clothing marathon clothing assumes that you're going through a marathon 
Wait, what? It, it, all I seen was you <laughs> playing the, the role of an adolescent little ass kid. A grown old ass nigga still trying to be a kid. Ain't nothing wrong relieving your youth, but to violate a man like that, you do you know Nipsey Hustle? You talking asking us, do we know him? I don't have to know a nigga to pay homage, my nigga. I don't I don't know who Malcolm X is, but I love the work and the and the ethics that he had he put to the community and shit like that. I don't know the works of a lot of motherfuckers, Toussaint Louverture, Jean Dessalines, the heroes of, of the revolution of Haiti, but I still give it up. So you telling me we gotta know a nigga to pay homage? Well, I don't know you personally, so I have the right to violate you, right? That's what you saying. So when J.O. fucks you up, my nigga, I don't wanna hear nobody capping for you, and people gonna be like, take it, to, it's a joke, Shampoo been doing this. I don't give a fuck if the nigga been doing this. You violated my nigga, period. So you think, so you think, so you think McDonald's every year is to say, uh, um, Nipsey Hussle, Ronald McDonald? Yes. yes, they should. Yes, they Wait, should. What? Are you serious? They should. McDonald's? That's the oh. case to the big job. Shampoo yeah. been doing this. I don't give a fuck if the nigga been doing this. You violated my nigga. Period. Oh, Shampoo been doing female jokes and, and this and that. But we all know where he was taking it. And he, he didn't mention any female name individually. He'll just do random jokes about little weirdo jokes about underage females. When we clearly see he joking about it. Nigga ain't being serious. It's, it's sad. Satire. If you guys know what satire is, it's like parody slash satire. So we get it. But what you said about Nipsey Hussle was dead ass serious, my nigga. You was dead ass serious. I don't want to hear no pun intended, nigga, and I'm done with you, my nigga. In fact, before I'm done with you, open up a business in a white neighborhood and you won't be laying down. Don't laugh at that. Listen, don't laugh at their deaths. Don't think about how they got killed because that will make you laugh. Just, just keep it serious. I have a oh, lot, actually. Oh, no. Hey, listen, that's enough. Handful. Please. Don't get two handfuls. You okay. might be laying down in front of a store. Oh. <laughs> Yo, stop. <laughs> Can you imagine? Dead ass serious, my nigga. Honest. He was dead ass serious. I don't want to hear no pun intended, nigga, and I'm done with you, my nigga. In fact, before I'm done with you, let me let you know, Shampoo, you been corny. For the last six, seven months, you've been playing superhero for Lansky. That's why niggas don't fuck with you no more. You don't let Stanley, you don't let um Lansky stand on his own as a man, my nigga. You try to speak for this bitch ass nigga multiple occasions, and you look like a suck ass nigga doing that shit. Lansky is a grown ass man who, who don't need you to have his back like that. I know y'all gonna be like, like y'all y'all team this and that you 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 don't even let the, the real fans who support and donate call in to tell them, I mean, tell Lansky bitch ass how they feel about him. You always jumping in playing superhero, my nigga. You looking lame. With the doors Remember that? He was no Nick Castle. The doors up was. He was the, he was the why younger generation. The doors up. Like, you know, shut up, man. Wait, what are you talking about? That's, that's, that door, that's a door open. Call up. Yeah, but why they leave it up for the Oh, uh, this has some respect. Oh, what? Call in to tell them, I mean, tell Lansky bitch ass how they feel about him. You always jumping in, playing superhero, my nigga. You looking lame. You looking like a weirdo. And shit is done, bro. Your career might be done, bro. And it, it might not. I don't want to say that because you're a very smart brother. I give you that. But you, you're going to need like three, four months. Hey, shout out to Queens Flip. Y'all like throwing Queens Flip name under the bus, but Queens Flip did all he could as a businessman. He suspended shampoo. He did what he could. Punishment would be act shampoo would be shampoo would be suspended for 30 days. Just till things cool down. Um 30 days of a suspension. And a fine of a thousand dollars. Nipsey. Um, first and foremost, I want to apologize on behalf of Shampoo, me being the leader for his comments. Even though we don't stand by his comments, Shampoo is still part of my platform and I want to apologize on behalf of him. To anybody that was offended or affected by the comments. Three, four months. Hey, shout out to Queens Flip. Y'all like throwing Queens Flip name under the bus, but Queens Flip did all he could as a businessman. He suspended shampoo. He did what he could. He don't control what these niggas gonna say. Like, that's how you know Queens Flip ain't a scripted show. He don't sit them down and be like, I need you to do this today. I need you to vibe. So leave Queens Flip name out of this. Quit trying to violate the nigga. If anything, salute to that man, Queens Flip. Back to you, um, Shampoo. And shampoo was saying some things and pertaining to the Nipsey Hussle situation that offended a lot of people. I got over 17 DMs about not supporting, not donating anymore because of what Shampoo was doing. But that wasn't the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake was when people from the streets 
reached out to me, reached out to Bino. Knowing where the studio is because Mano records there, or recorded there, sorry. <coughs> Mano was next door, or is next door. And saying that we pulling up and we know when he records and we want to see him. You know, Nipsey Hustle touched a lot of people. Nipsey Hustle's death is a tragic death. You're the vice will leave Queens Flip sad. name out of this. Quit trying to violate the nigga. If anything, salute to that man, Queens Flip. Back to you, Shampoo. You a clown, my nigga. And you been falling off, my nigga. Your, rev your relevancy is really nowhere right now. You shitting on Wendy Williams and the, the little chick about to give you a, a little platform to speak on, but you choose to shit on Wendy Williams, bro? That, that's what... Who are you, bitch? Who are you, bitch? Who the fuck are you? Clay. And I like Clay. Wendy Williams, but I ain't gonna Clay. front. I got it on the call, too. He picked it up. He said, gang. I said, fuck that bitch. <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> I was in the door. Well, I'm a sellout. But, yeah, yo, but, but that's the fact. Yeah, but I, thought, I was in on that thing when he did with Wendy. When he went in on Wendy Williams, he picked up my phone. And I went in with him. I was like, that bitch. And then he was like, fuck that bitch. And Howard Stern was going in. And, and he picked the, I know, because you know, she said he went Hollywood and he went in. And, and, I, and I'm on the line. Andy I, I Williams and the, the little Long chick Island. about to give you a, a little platform to speak on, but you choose to shit on Wendy Williams, bro. That, that's why you got to be careful. Like, I've always said to niggas like Shampoo and many other people um, as far as in the platform of Queens Flip. Listen. Queens Flip is an intelligent brother, and he he's he's a talent scout. He found the likes of Prezi, Chris Kidd, um, Stace, King Faze. We can keep going. Like he his platform builds people up, whether you like it or not. As easy we seen Shampoo came in, because a lot of you niggas like to say we ain't gonna watch the platform no more if Shampoo ain't there. I ain't you niggas. I've been supporting Queens Flip before any of these motherfuckers on this platform and I will continue to support him just like many other motherfuckers been supporting Queens Flip long before we knew who a fucking shampoo and all these weirdo niggas who came on his show and I ain't throwing no shots at King Face that's my nigga over here salute the King's Face salute the J.O. salute the Stace salute the Crooked Smile salute the Prezi y'all know I fuck with him hard them names ain't counted I'm talking about that bitch named Sexy Lace and Lansky yeah now I'm about to go in on Lace I'm saving Lansky Lansky bitch ass for last. Sexy Lace, I'm gonna tell you the truth. What Prezi said on one of the last episode of The Callers. You a fake ass coon ass, but no, you can't even be a coon. You one of them biracial hoes who try best to be down, but you don't really fuck with niggas like that. I paid attention to your little Instagram. What are we gonna say? Rest in peace, Martin Luther King, every time we address something. I'm now you saying, gonna say fuck yo, Martin Luther King? I'm not saying fuck him, yo, but like, I'm saying that's like, someone that died for the community. The as an advocate for the you community. You one of them biracial so hoes who try best to be down, but you don't really fuck with niggas like that. I paid attention to your little Instagram and shit like that. It's like where it's like where's Waldo in the in the in the sense of finding a nigga that's next to you. I don't see no niggas next to you. And in that episode, you fucked up and said, Oh, I, I do it. I have a handful of black friends. You know what contradicts. Okay, first of all, I actually I just recently speech, found out yeah. there <laughs> are projects on Long Island. Excuse me. So. She said, fortunately, none. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not say that. <laughs> The only uh, friends she got lie. is down here, so oh you know God. that's fucked up. Not, 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 not any that she listens to her home. <laughs> Nah, nah, I, I have a nice handful of black friends. I have a oh, lot, actually. No. These are rappers. Yeah. I have These a lot are of black friends. You guys are making me feel huh? mad weird. I have a lot of black friends. I just want to point that out there. Me too. Because now all my black friends are going to be like, wait a minute. Is she not like, wait. Like, I, I have you a lot. You fucked up and said, I oh, I do. I have a handful of black friends. You know what contradiction you just did right there? You have the same talking points like every Ku Klux Klan member or a white supremacist member who says, I have black friends. Some black friend. Like, nah, bitch. You're fake as fuck. You trying your best to fit next to shampoo and you look so lame. You're a cute little chick, but you look horrible. You know why? Because a, a chick can open her mouth and look like one of the most disgusting creatures in the world just by your character and who you are. I would no. never slip my penis. I don't need to uplift my... Yeah. Listen, yeah. let me be honest. Whatever I, I don't need to uplift you. my penis. All I need to do is lift this up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not... What about the face tap? That is dumb. Please. Please. Stop. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Please stop that. I don't know what it is. Because you put on a nice suit, you got to put on a nice suit. 
Mm. People like that are not putting on fucking nice suits. Like. And look like one of the most disgusting creatures in the world just by your character and who you are. I would never slip my penis up. Well, let me, I gotta change my narrative because YouTube changed. I would never pull hard wood up in you. Never that. Never that. Because hoes like you, I've seen hoes like you growing up. Growing up in the hood, we had little biracial hoes like you who would slip in the hood and try to fit in and now you down. And niggas try to give you a pass because you light skin or whatnot. But you don't really fuck with the motherfuckers in the hood like that. Notice a shot you're throwing. I don't rock with because, no, no, that really is what unfortunately happens more amongst the African American community. Like, period. Like, like, no, because, like, that we don't hear about ways of these actions. What? So, does your white side of the family do crap with the fucking stuff? No. No. Come on, we talking about the black side. Honestly. We need no, the help. Like, not her white not her white fuck side. with them white motherfuckers side. in the hood like that. Notice the shot you throwing. I don't rock with Martin Luther King, but how dare you say what you saying about? Look, I don't rock with Martin Luther King. I think he's an agent, but I'll never tell other people don't celebrate Martin Luther King Day. That's what they choose to do. They're paying homage. I don't see you do the works of Martin Luther King. So who the fuck are you? You get to call out that man like that and shit like that. And all day. What are we gonna say? Rest in peace, Martin Luther King. Every time we address oh. something. I'm now you gonna say fuck my Luther King? I'm not saying fuck him, Yo, but Lex. I'm saying I don't see you do the works of Martin Luther King, so who the fuck are you? You get to call out that man like that and shit like that. And all day you've been disparaging Nipsey Hussle and who he is. Like, I need to see Georgie or Jenna, one of them chicks, them sexy queens, slap the fuck out you. I'll pay hard money for it, and we about to do a campaign. The um the supporters been blessing me. I'm about to give that money back. Georgie, Jenna, if y'all hear me, listen, I'm about to slip in y'all DMs and, and ask y'all a big favor for me. That little biracial bitch needs to be slapped up right now ASAP. Facts. What she did was a. I think we're talking about the, the, the whole Nipsey thing. Rest in peace. Like, but Damn, it really bust is. Over that shit. <laughs> Rest yeah. in peace, motherfucker. On to the next. <laughs> no, not on to the next, but. This is Show not like respect. a new thing. Like, like this is not a new cut. thing. Oh, that's sad. People in the in that community like hating on you. Why would they have Jamaican food in a pizzeria? In y'all DMs and and ask y'all a big favor for me. That little biracial bitch needs to be slapped up right now ASAP. Facts. What she did was a straight up violation. I don't have many words for Lex. She's a nobody. That's why I'm about to continue to Lansky Lex. You a nobody. You a coon ass house nigga bitch. That slipped past the community thinking you could uh, hoodwink us and, and now you, I wanna be down. Brandy voice, no bitch. You ain't accepted in this community, bitch. The only reason you have a name is because of Queens Flip. And I think you owe him many things in the world. You, you're crazy. No, we gotta stop, man. Seriously. I know you have blacks, so you can just listen to half of them. But I'm gonna tell you I'll have ass listening then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretending to be black just for the night. Oh my. And that's it. <laughs> and then it's coming off. No, I'm just yeah, playing. You're you're right. Right. You know what? Uh -uh. Yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah, me too. Word. You gotta be by yourself. With somebody there. It's not black people. That. It's a tax bracket. The only reason you have a name is because of Queens Flip, and I think you owe him many thanks in the world. You, you're cringeworthy at best. Prezi said it best, man. You trying your best to fit in, and even when you say nigger, you don't even say nigger, you say nigger. Like, you can't even comfortably say nigger. It's always slipping past to say nigger. Trust me, you're biracial, but you're white side, and I don't mean to um, disparage my white fans. I'm talking about her white supremacy side. Let me clarify that. Your white supremacy side has about 90% of your genetics in you. You probably have 10% black, and it barely comes out. Off. Listen, no, like, shampoo on- white friends or no? Yeah, no, I know. I, but I have a lot of black friends, too. Asking, I oh, I thought you said you well, we know. We do, too. Right? Well, we trying to figure out how to have a lot of white, white friends. friends. Yeah, we got to have a black friends, too. It's we got too many black friends. We got too many niggas around. About 90% of your genetics in you. You probably have 10% black and it barely comes out. Listen, shampoo only want to fuck you and that's it. Shampoo don't look at you like that. Stop playing hard to get. At the end of the day, it's Queen's Flip platform. And like Queen's Flip said, you fucking up by trying to align yourself heavy, heavy like that and being loyal to shampoo. I guess you don't know shampoo track records. Shampoo ain't loyal to nobody. 
You better go fucking do your <laughs> research, <laughs> dumb bitch. I don't know why why Joe Budden said what he said. I'm not speaking for him, but I'm just saying in terms of how long someone. But you get what I'm saying, like. The consistency, who else has maybe been here 15 years or longer? Both of them have. Like, you don't know what I'm saying? Like, when y'all do something wrong intentionally or, like, with, no, like, you know, awareness, then. Go fucking do your easy. research, you dumb bitch. Say? Now, you, Lasky. The clown nigga of them all. The fucking bitch made nigga. You a crip now, whole ass nigga? When the fuck you became a crip? Don't say you ain't never said you a crip now, my nigga. We can show it to blood the people right here. Cause I know a couple niggas who be bloody out there, nigga. I know a couple real blood niggas will be bloody. You don't sound like one of them. Your past don't sound official. <laughs> Your past don't sound. <laughs> Your past don't sound valid, my nigga. I be around blood niggas. I'm a. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Shut up, nigga. Your past don't sound. Your past don't sound valid, my nigga. I be around blood niggas. I'm a. Shut up, nigga. Shut up. Your past don't sound valid, oh, my nigga. Yeah. I be around blood niggas. I'm a crip. To the people yeah. right Shut up, here. nigga. <laughs> Shut up. Don't fucking ever say you ain't said that, my nigga. You telling everybody you been to California, acting like you been like it's Brazil or it's New England. Uh, I mean, um, like it's um fucking England or Paris or some shit like that. I been to Cali. <laughs> First of all, here. Then you going back? April. Oh, Next month. April 18th. I'll be out there. What up? Have you been to Cali? I met your OG. He told me that you have to come to Cali. That's all I can tell you, man. That's all I can tell you. I don't have anything else to tell niggas, my nigga. Go to Cali and meet your OG. That's all I can say, man. Yo, three hundred dollars, man. Catch your flight. Uh, I mean, um, like it's um fucking England or Paris or some shit like that. I've been to Cali. <laughs> First of all, here's news, nigga. That little dame you got over there in California, I guarantee you she probably getting dicked down by the rolling 60s right now. Salute to them cats over there in Cali. My nigga, you the most pathetic creature I've seen in my life. You ain't got no backbone, and you do everything but suck on, I mean, you do everything but be a man. All you do all day on that platform is suck wood, hard wood from shampoo. Y'all got like a little homoerotic relationship going on. That's just pause, bro. It's uncomfortable with your bitch ass laugh. <laughs> That sounds gay as shit. Then you Cali, man. Yeah, what you, I met your OGs. <laughs> Niggas is gang banging so and, and they never met the OGs in Cali. <laughs> How you gang banging and never met your OG in Cali? My nigga. Yo, man. Like, what the, I, I met your OG, my nigga. Like, I met your OG before you. Careful. How could you gang bang and you don't know the OG in Cali? With your bitch ass laugh. <laughs> Then you peep game. When them callers called in and said you disrespect the Nipsey, you peep game what we seen you doing. You tried to clean it up and talking about, no, no, I bought his bullets at what Lay's album. And I, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Like I said on my kids, you don't know one Nipsey Hustle song. What you did was pre-studied and game plan for that episode to make it look like you down with Nipsey. Now you ain't no crip after saying you a crip. And nigga, ain't you showing love to Cali? So why you don't show love for the blessings of, of one Nipsey Hustle, my nigga? Get a shirt. You went to Cali and bought the rap snacks. Hold on, y'all. This whole ass. Uh, the, fire, the finest rap snacks from Cali, my nigga. Well, yeah, flowing in. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hey, listen, I, yeah. niggas can laugh all they want. I've never been to Cali. Yo, and what I mean, yeah, flown man. in. I mean, flown in in my back. <laughs> my nigga, get a shirt. You went to Cali and bought the rap snacks. Hold on, y'all. This whole ass nigga, I ain't done with it. You went to Cali and, and this fucking chip. That's in every fucking hood. That's how you know Lance came from no hood. Talking about New York ain't got this. My nigga, New York has rap snacks. It's everywhere in every hood in US of A, bro. So you can get the rap snacks, right? You can do all that and <sighs> I got rap snacks. One, look, look how much it costs, y'all. $1.29. And it's probably way more um, cheaper than what it is where I got it from. But yeah, I don't see you with shirts like this of Nipsey Hustle. You got a damn platform, my nigga. Where's your videos of doing rest in peace and Nipsey Hustle? You got a goddamn platform. You ain't stepped up to the table. Don't throw California name in your mouth no more. Hey, here's a challenge to my California goons. You see that fraud ass nigga, that scrawny ass nigga? You fucking violate this nigga on sight. Lansky, I'm about to fire. The finest rap snacks from Cali, my nigga. Well, yeah, flowing in. <laughs> You know what I mean? Hey, listen, I, yeah. niggas can laugh all they want. I've never been to Cali.
down. Yo, and when I mean man, flown man. in, I mean flown in in my bag. <laughs> How you late this nigga on site? Lansky, I'm about to talk to Flip. Last time Flip, I'm gonna let, and this is real shit. Flip hit me up on my platform and said he'll fly me into New York to have a one on one fight with you. I told Flip I ain't wanna violate you because you too small for me. I told Flip I wanted Chris Kidd, but guess what, nigga? Look, shit has changed, my nigga. I want your head, bro. No pause. Nigga, I wanna vibe. I wanna knock you the fuck out, bro. And if your brother steps in, that, hey, I don't know your brother, so I ain't gonna violate him. But if your brother step in, that nigga get in touch too. Just like King Face said, send whoever you wanna send, bro. And, and I'm gonna be honest with you, Lasky. A nigga like you gonna have to send help, bro. I'm gonna violate you, and whoever you bring with you, my nigga, they get in touch too. Hey, On yeah, site, yeah, my yeah, nigga. Don't the, the, your past don't sound valid, oh, my nigga. Yeah. I be around blood niggas. I'm a crack. Yeah, yeah, Shut yeah, up, yeah, nigga. Yeah. Shut up. Who? No comment, man. I'm not talking about stuff like that. That's... Don't worry about that, man. Don't worry. It's not, it's not about Lansky. It's not about what Lansky is. It's not about what Lansky is. Your past don't sound valid, oh, my nigga. Yeah. I be around blood niggas. I'm a crack. The relationship of you looking as a Zoe nigga, erase that shit out your name, nigga. I'll violate your whole ass ASAP. And I want you one of your little bitch ass fans talking about in the comment, you bullying Lansky. You doing this to Lansky. Nigga, suck my dick, my nigga. Straight up like that, nigga. Facts, my nigga. Any man that represents and stand up for Lansky, you a whole ass nigga in real life too. And, and uh, enough ain't gotta be said, my nigga. Any nigga that stand up for Lansky is a bitch made nigga. Straight like that. And I love Queens Flip so much. I can tell Queens Flip is an honorable man because he continue letting bozos like Lansky on his platform. And you can tell he don't need you, my nigga. Queens Flip don't want to see you die out here. Queens Flip trying to give you life. That's what he does when them cameras get turned on. You better, when you pray to God, the second nigga you need to pray to is Father Queens Flip, my nigga. That's his name. That's the only thing that should be coming out your mouth. Now, don't call him Flip. <laughs> Flip. Nah, nigga, you call him Father Queens Flip, my nigga. Straight like that, my nigga. Violating Nipsey. Hustle school so you can suck on shampoo. I ain't never seen it about the most lamest shit in the world. We know shampoo is out of touch with the culture, but you supposed to be a so-called hip-hop head. Nah, false, my nigga. You that bitch made nigga that sit in class, talk shit all day, and when niggas like me wanna slap you up in front of the teachers, that's when every other whole nigga wanna cry. Uh, you bullying, you bullying. That ain't bullying, my nigga. That's a lesson, nigga. That's giving that nigga medicine, and you need your medicine, nigga. Time's up, my nigga. I need to be that nigga to give you medicine. Hey, 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 Lansky told me he wore blue. He told me he wore blue in the red neighborhood. Yo, you don't give a fuck. Yo. Oh, you know. Yo, have you been to California to meet your blood OG, nigga? Can I tell you right now, slob, nigga? No, man, I'm gonna tell you what are you talking about? Let me say something to you right now, nigga. I knew shampoo. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck my dick. I'm wearing my own gear, nigga. Did you meet your OG in Cali? You, you big bees, right? You big up, boy. My nigga. I you need to be that nigga to give you medicine. Flip, if you see this video, my nigga, I'll use my own bread, bro. I need to fly in to meet Lansky Flip, and I put on everything. You want it to be a charity match? I'ma unleash hell on this nigga. The nigga need to get touched. Nigga, you violated Nipsey Hustle up and down, and you try to clean it up like that? You the weakest thing in the world, nigga, and I best believe me, your little bitch that's up in Cali is getting dicked down right now as we speak. No female in this world looking at you as some type of man, some type of leadership, my nigga. Use a whole bitch out here. That's the truth, Lansky. Haitians don't represent you. Your mom don't like you. Your mom look at you every day. You told people that mark you got on your forehead, you fell down the steps. News flash, douchebag. Your mom pushed you down the steps. Your mom didn't want to give you birth, bro. That's the truth. Your mom took one look at you and wanted to throw you in the garbage. Brenda should have thrown your ass in the garbage. Facts, bro. She should have thrown your ass in the garbage, my nigga. Your mom put you down them steps, my nigga. You didn't trip. She didn't like you and gave you that extra shove, my nigga. Your father, your father think you were erotic, homosexual type of weak ass nigga. Remember I told y'all? I know. It's not I think anymore. Like I told Chris Kidd, bitch ass. I know Lansky has been abused, sexually abused by another man. And his dad... Listen, bro. Listen, bro. The video is up. I believe. I believe. I believe it's on the quiet storm. He's asking me. It's on the quiet storm. It's on whoever else page. Go find it, bro. I don't know what you're asking about. Crip blood.
I know Lansky has been abused, sexually abused by another man. And his dad takes one look at his son and be like, I'm ashamed of my son. I don't want my son no more. Lansky, when I look at you, bro, I'm going to talk to you. I'm just going to talk to you. I'm just going to talk to you. I'm going to respect you. I'm going to talk to 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 you. Jou sa, m'ta pouye pou li te chwe ou nèg mwen, m'fini avèk ou. Menè ken moun ou ve menè, m'ap mange yo tou nèg mwen. Mba men bezen fè voudou sou ou. M'ka chwe ou avèk ou msel koud pou e m'ap fout chwe. Pou masi si, viet gri mas, ou m'fout gri mas pou tout haïsien. M'pa fout gri mè ou, pa pa di kras moun ou haïsien. If y'all know what I'm saying, I just went in on this nigga in Creole, man. I told this nigga, man, he don't even exist as a man. Dawg, you need hands put on you ASAP. You a crip, my nigga? You need to get hands put on you just for violating and throwing false claiming as nigga. That's who you is, bro. Your mom don't like you. Your dad don't like you. Your little brother got to always stand up for you. That tells me everything I need to know about who you is. Nobody in your family fuck with you. Nobody like you. Your life been a movie, bro. An upside down nightmare. But you ain't seen no nightmare yet, nigga. This ain't over with. I'm continuing to violate you. Your snitch ass talking about you going to sue me. You going to go to YouTube on me. Nigga, you a big snitch, my nigga. I ain't never seen a nigga go on YouTube and say proudly like that. <laughs> you making money? I mean, nigga, fuck you, nigga. I created you, nigga. Ain't nobody knew you. Salute the star, but even his platform couldn't fucking help your weak ass, my nigga. I started beefing with you, then everybody knew who the fuck you was, my nigga. I made you, my nigga. Then you went to the Chris Kid show, and I fucking made you on that shit too, my nigga. You a bum ass nigga. Nigga, bow down to me, nigga, and say thank you, I smoke hip hop, for giving me life, nigga. You hoe ass nigga. Everybody in the YouTube sector know I made your ass, nigga. Everybody know I came out the woodworks and I put the flashlight in your bitch ass, my nigga. You owe Nipley Hustle apology, but even if you apologize, you still deserve a beatdown, my nigga. That ain't washed away. So if y'all wanna donate to fly me to New York, I need to go catch this nigga right quick and beat his ass down, man. I'm your God Bless One, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. And it's 2013. We know that the, the change that's taking place. We know that the outlets and the connection and the, the reach that artists can have. And my thing is, I want to, I want, I want every penny I'm entitled to. I want as much percent as I'm entitled to, and I don't feel I'm wrong for that. You know. Six eight four. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hey, you got six eight four. Six eight four. Right here, baby. Relax. 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 Family, I'ma need you to go help me out and go help Nipsey Hussle and his family. Go support his The Marathon Clothing Line store. Go to the description box where you'll find links where you can go online and purchase these clothing because I know a lot of people don't have resource and access to get to California. But don't worry, I got you guys. I got the links to his website. Let's support and give one love to one of the originators and one of the spearhead movements of leadership in a community. You got a brother like Nipsey who took a certain active lifestyle and turned it into a commendable lifestyle of being what it, and showing what it means to be a man. Let's help on support the Marathon clothing line. Let's make it the new Gucci line. Man, once again, man, rest in peace and Nipsey Hustle, man. Understand a brother like me understands your hip -hop need. It's not in the just community. about rapping, man. To be in hip hop, you gotta have proper decorum and show respect and pay homage to your elders. But you got a lot of young generations out here that's lost. If you wanna know why the hood is not the hood no more, it's because of people like Kodak. I had a great day in the hood today. I went to get all my hookups in the hood today. I went to go get my little burning in the hood today. I went to go get a little hookup and I'm going to a concert in a, um, uh, next week. And the hood feeling great today, man. It's great to be from the hood. I don't care what y'all say. I don't live there no more. But like I tell y'all, every day I'm... Forget to show proper respect to people who paved the way in the communities. 
always show that love, man, and that humbleness and just come together in one unity, man. The Marathon clothing line will be the new clothing line that I rock steadily, man. I'm blessed one. Just subscribe to my platform. If you guys can donate to my platform, it's not just I'm going hard for Nipsey Hustle only. I'm going hard for every melanated people out there. And even if you ain't melanated, brother blessed one loves the people, man. Try giving back to my cash app or my PayPal so we can get that money to where it's needed to people in danger that actually needs that fun, man. And once again, man, look to your left, look to your right. Click on one of these great video contents that I have on. And I'm, I don't mean to state it overwhelmingly like that, but your donation is needed. Every cent, every dollar is needed. And let me just leave you guys with this. My platform wouldn't be anything, anything without you great supporters. Thank you, guys.